Art students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, I'm back. So today I'm going to do something different because not too long ago someone asked me to do like a room tour and show my materials and my setup and the whole nine yards. So I said, okay, I can do that because it's a quick video. And since I'm kind of running behind on doing videos, I'll just go ahead and do this one. And since my room is halfway clean because I cleaned it, I decided to go ahead and show what I am going through, what I'm going through. I'm looking at the monitor. <laughs> I decided to show my room and my process of drawing and all the junk that's laying around. So what's with the hands? With the hands. All right, so let's get on with this video and you will see what I see every day. All right, let's go. All right, let's go inside real quick and see what we can see. All right, so first off, this is the third bedroom. I'm in a three bedroom house and my son moved back in. So I had to give him my bedroom. So I bought me a little bed here so that I could uh, sleep, a little twin bed here. And uh, these are my guns, which I ended up taking off the wall, my airsoft guns, because I just didn't have enough room. I bought too many and I had to take them all. I took them down, put them in the box, put them back in the closet. So I got my little dresser over here. So this little section, is the bedroom section and then you know we have the office going around this way but we'll get to that and have my little uh weight thing whatever that is that's the i can't think of what that's called i have to look in the monitor and film at the same time because my camera won't show so going around here now we start the office i bought my little desk i had a bigger desk before i bought me a little desk here gotta have my snacks here and got my computer Kind of like the main computer where I download and so forth. And then I have, you have, always have to have um, your paper to let you know what you have to do. Because if you just skirt through the day without doing anything, then it makes for a bad day. So over here, we have all my pens. Now, one bad thing about this is I bought these pens. These were Touch 5. And Touch 5, where is it? Touch 5 turned into Touch Twins. And all these pens right here are pretty much dried up and that's the thing they don't tell you so you have to buy these things right here these refills so I ended up spending like hundred thirty dollars for a bunch of these I mean and that's not even all the colors I still got more colors going it's coming from London so it's gonna take a minute to get here but you're gonna have to um, have refills when you buy pens so I ended up buying a few more pens about these and then these so I'm, I need to be doing a whole lot of coloring so we go over here and I have my little shelf and you know what all my my, my uh, works in this my t-shirt designs I do t-shirts as well I'll send you to show you the link the link is at the end of the in the description so going up I have my earphones when I cut the grass and got my dog up here rocking the gold chains that I find at work that nobody claims so and Mr. Skeleton right here. And these are some some of my dummies that I had when I was younger, as in early 30s. Because when I was trying to figure out how to do uh, anatomy, so I used uh, what I could use. So coming around here, I'm past this little pole. Then we got your monitor. This is the monitor that I use to draw with. So my drawing table is right here. My monitor is right there. So that way I can see what I'm doing. So the paper doesn't slide off. Down below I have my little animals for my dog soldier comic book. I don't know if that's going to be the, the name of it. So let me pull back a little bit. And this is a little frame I use. I use this little frame here to hold the camera. It's just PVC pipe that I put together. And uh, it, it's right in the center of my drawing table. And it holds the camera. And my camera goes right up here, which you can probably see. You know, when, when I'm drawing, I just zoom in down here. So you don't see all of this mess over here and down here, which is all of these pens. And this is this is pretty, pretty clean. So, you know, I said, let me go ahead and film it while it is halfway clean. But usually it's, it is a mess. So right here you have, I have more of my notes and what I need to do, my goals. So you need to always be reminded of what you need to do. So that you can follow it. And then I have my drawing examples, which I don't use anymore. I need to take them down and either put some new ones up there or put a mirror on this back wall. So next to my drawing table, let me pull back. Now, I cannot see what I'm doing in the camera, so I'm looking at the monitor. So if it goes off, then forgive me. So I have my file cabinet here with more of the things that I need to do on the side. I have my soldiers. Let me get on the side here. 
and then I have my um, drawing figures. These are my what do you call it? Just the, the body coon, body chan. You know, I just like these things so much. I just decided to buy. It. That's my guy up here. So these guys, a lot of times they just collect dust, just it's just because they just sit there. So again, I have more of my stuff that I need to do. Written down my goals, my plans. This goes right into my exercise stuff. This is a second chair. I have a second chair because I replaced the squeaky chair, but this one's starting to squeak now. And I have my exercise, my balls for the to uh, for stretching in the morning. Underneath that, I have some weights, which most of the weights are under my little bed. Then I have my books, my reference, my, all my comic books and stuff here. Um, my my sculpture, my my um, statues, some other other things here. I have my drawings, some of my drawings. I keep all my all my stuff in here. Keep all my my drawings in here. So when I get ready to put that next book together, I could uh, have all my new drawings. Have all my drawings down in here as well, so you can see. And uh, in there, and all of these my sketch pads and. Um, what do you call these little things? And each one of these has like little drawings and store part of stories in them because I, I do too much. That That's my reason. My thing is I do too much at one time. So it's hard for me to sit down and just complete one whole thing. So my colored pencils and then my extra paper and my other such junk I need. I always have the Mighty Calendar up here. And then this little rail here, I put it together with PVC pipe. And what I do is like I'll hang a tile over and I have my little clips with my clip, my clips like right here. And I'll like hang a tile up there and then I'll shoot my, my Nerf gun into it whenever I um, decide to just shoot my gun off if the batteries are not dead. So, all right. So, materials that I use. Materials that I use. Basically, a bunch of everything. In here, and in my little drawers, I have all different pens and stuff, which I don't really use pens. These are mostly like my dead stuff, my, my, my tiny pencils or something. My ruler, which I have to replace. These are the ones that somewhat work. They pretty much work. They, they, they work. So I'm using, what is this? This is the fabric castle. I basically use whatever works, but whatever's cheap. This is like the Micron. I'm really not a big Micron fan. I'm a fabric castell, fabric castell or castell, however they want to pronounce it. Because one, they're cheaper. And to me, the tips hold out better. But then I've got these things. And these are, what are these things? Let me put my glasses on so I can show you what this thing is this is it's out of china this is zebra these are zebra pins which are very nice i think ten dollars you get the three ten or twelve dollars you get the three pins and you get the thick and the thin and i can't do it with one hand so oh this is my second computer there this is this is the, the workhorse computer this is just for my work it's with my photoshop and all my programs on it and this one is just like the watch TV when I eat. And I say, I got my snacks here, got my peanuts. Gotta have your snacks and some M&Ms, which I'm out. And then my Raisinets. So, you know, whenever, you know, I'm there, you gotta, gotta get your little snack on. Gotta get your snack on. So, my light, this is, this is like a natural, I don't think it's plugged up. This is supposed to be like a natural light. And this is just a regular old light. So, if I need to find, look at a little detail, I'll put this on, you know, my paper, but I usually, Try not to. And this is my overhead light here, which basically I just put, I hook the camera up here like this in the light and then put the light up on top here and it holds it and it looks down because the light is hooked up under this thing right here. And it's got multiple lights on it. So, I told you about the microns. Got the blue pencils. Let me see if I can pull out. I don't know where these. These are my junk drawers here. These are my junk drawers. I think my pencils and stuff is in here. So I got so much stuff. So these are the the blue pencils and the color pencils that I use. The blue pencils and the red pencils I use. Pencil lead. More pens. Where's my pen thing? I show you my pens right here. These are my pen drawer. You know, all these are brand new pens. You know, like I said, these are new. So I got my touch right here. So you got to have your, your drawers to keep your junk in. And we got some paint in here. I don't know what's in there. A lot of, a lot of different junk. You got to have your, you know, your, your junk, junk drawers. Stuff on my BB gun. And more junk over there. A couple laptops. 
up under here old laptops uh, I think there's another one here a couple more in the closet but they're they're old you know I, I guess if I put them in the shop I can get them updated so material wise I'm thinking that's it and this is a cover this is this is a book that I did for a friend this was a while back I did this in like watercolor and uh, she wanted a new cover for for the book so I'm working on another cover for her because she put it up on Amazon, but Amazon is not paying her. They're paying the person that put the book up, which is wrong. So she's going to reprint it. And I'm going to put another cover on that. Cut this light out. And I think that might be it for the room tour. Down here, I have more of my works, my books, my papers. So if I get no room to put stuff up, it's a receipt. A couple of drawings. I'm always doing something that... I'll get it focused that you know I need to finish as I say I do 100 things at one time you've seen these before this is my dog soldiers this is the uh the, the eye of the beholder what else do I have here another eye of the beholder something I was working on for somebody else which I lost contact with her and go back up here real quick I know I'm jumping but my comic books up here is my other books down back here my 360 book my other book coloring book some other books that i have more 360 books children's book children's book that i'm trying to repub get get published published because that was not finished that was a test book so yeah Gotta have my fan. I always gotta I sleep with a fan 24-7. Gotta have it. So if you say, hey Brian, come over and spend the night. Do you have a fan? If not, I won't be over your house. So that's it for a room tour. Sitting in my chair. Let me swing back around again. This is everything I see when I come in. My overhead lights that just work when they wanna work, don't wanna work. Monitor, which I had to turn to the side. I had to turn that sideways. Because for some reason, when you film this way with the camera, it doesn't want to film anymore. So you feel you have to turn the camera a certain way. You see what it just said. And, you know, it won't film at a certain angle. So I have to turn the monitor over so I can see it this way versus that way. It's just it's weird. The things you go through. Swinging back around my table, my snacks, my book bag. Because I still have to go to work in the morning because you guys haven't really subscribed and hit the thumbs up. To show YouTube that, uh, hey, this guy is pretty good. You know, let's give him a job so he don't have to go to work. Some other guns, a little speaker on the phone, on, on the wall, so I can, so I can just kind of like chill. My mask, a little toilet paper. You know, when your nose run, some extra things. This is my, um, I forgot what you call that board, but it is um, the board, and I think that's gonna be it for this thing but as i said it was someone asked me to do a room tour so i said since i'm behind with um my art or my lessons i'll do a quick room tour i know it's a get over down here's my laser that you just you saw my laser from um wicked lasers um some more story stuff and uh pictures pictures down here i do not just do comics i do other pictures as well let me pull these out this it might be a little easier to pull out over here but I have no room. This is a light table. This is a little light table. Oil paint. Where's my camera? Where am I pointing at? This is oil paints, light table. And let's see if I can, can I pull this out? I don't think so. And naturally it's all turned behind. So yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, it might work. Which one is this? This is the Fozzie and Kermit. You know, as I say, I do more than just comics. I do a little everything. I sculpt, which I showed you that thing. This was color color pencil with your fingers. This was color pencil done, you know, a while a while back. And uh, yeah, so I do just a little everything, not just comics as I said. And then back up here, the little thing I sculpt. I was getting into sculpting more and more, but I stopped because it's a mess. This, this I mean, this is a it's a it's a, it's a good clay, but it, it's a mess. It just and you have to bake it. 
to hard it and then once you bake it it smokes a little bit and it smells up your whole house I, I got I got out of it so anyway that's gonna be it for this room tour I don't like pulling stuff out because I have to put stuff back after that so again if you enjoyed it thumbs up thumbs up give me a thumbs up even if you didn't give me a thumbs up just to show that you didn't enjoy it and where's my my monitor yes look at you look at me look at you looking at me and then <laughs> subscribe if you haven't subscribe and then tell people so yeah it takes a lot to do art if you're going to do a lot of different things if you're going to do just comics you really don't need that much paper you know pen depending on if you want to ink it and so forth you're going to need everything but if you're doing everything you're going to need that the programs photoshop program down here all my programs tucked up under there and then just different kind of books for references uh yeah my printer which you know almighty printer you need that and just where I keep my old works and I know I'm jumping I'm jumping around so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this because it has been 15 minutes 32 seconds on the clock 15 minutes 32 seconds 37 seconds so that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you found it inspiring and then you will go out and you will do your thing but as far as materials it's the basic materials that I use paper pen pencils nothing, nothing special I do ink every now and then. Brian, you're going into a whole new thing. These are the water brushes. You put your, your paint, you can either put your paint in here or your water in here, and you can do water brush, water, watercolor brush things. So yeah, yeah. Let's just end it. Let's just end it. Okay, video is over. See you guys. Where's my finger? See, see you guys in the next video.